Good evening, everybody. Welcome to an edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Uh, before we crack on to today's beer, um, I went to a uh, beer shopping today, and I'm just going to go th run through the um, eight that I bought. These are all from Asda, and these are all four pound, four bottles or cans for six pounds each. So we'll go through them dead quick, and then we'll go on to today's review. Um, first out of the out of the box is Brew Dogs Kingpin. A 4.7 21st century lager. Um, then we had again another brew dog, the 5am Saint, a 5% American Red Ale. Um, another brew brew dog, a, the Vagabond Gluten Free, a 4.5 American Pale Ale. Now that for me, as far as I'm aware, nails down all the brew dogs I can see that are in the supermarkets. The rest, I'm tempted me have to go to the uh, brew dog bars or craft brewer shops to pick them up. But I'll let you know, that's the mainstream uh, one's done anyway. Um, we've got a Brooklyn beer, Brooklyn Half Ale. Um, this weighs in at 3.4% and is actually quite hazy. I don't know what that is stuck to the back of it. Um, again, another Brooklyn a Scorcher IPA. That weighs in a 4.5. Now, I had this the other week and I took it out and drank it. Um, but I didn't do a review on it. Uh, it was warm, it wasn't cold. Anyway, Lager uh, daytime, uh, daytime Ale. This again weighs in at 4.65%. They are very precise on what they, uh, their percentages. Um, Harbour Brewing Company, Antipodean IPA. And finally, another Harbour Brewing, their Session IPA. The Session IPA is 43 and the Antipodean is 5.5 so they were picked up today so they'll go in the fridge I don't know why I did it just haven't got that much room there but hey how it's done what's done is done and um, today we are looking at another Sierra Nevada rail and that is their Torpedo Extra IPA and I've seen a few reviews of these on YouTube and um, so I'm not the first to do this and um, I've not had this before I've been looking forward to having it I got this um, again, out of Asda, and this was in the four for six range on the last beer haul that I did. Um, there's the cap. Let's see if I can find the best before on this. It's usually around in the neck. So remember, right there, I had a problem getting finding it on the um, pale ale that I did. Anyway, it's probably on there somewhere. Oh, it is. Uh, best before mm. best before 20th of the 7th 18 there you go and this is a 7.2% IPA so let's pop it off see how it goes a little bit little bit of smoke oh hello you just hate it when that happens Right, so I'm using a devil's backbone glass here, purely because I can, not for any particular reason. It just seems to be the first one I've pulled out of the cupboard. So there we go. Deep amber, deep amber colour, slightly hazy, could be a bit of chill haze there. Just under the finger of head, head is just off white, almost cream coloured, tight compact fluffy bubbles. What we like. There you go, just to, okay, stick the light through. There you go, see, it's just starting to come through. Let's get a nose on it, see what we've got. There's a lot of pine there. A bit of fruit. A touch of citrus. A little bit of bitter, bitter malt. Mmm, smells good. A taste. Cheers. Mmm. Okay, so we get we get a bit of tropical fruit, um, sort of pineapple, grapefruity, mangoey, orange, um, a little bit of peach, sweet sweetness. And this, this pine, which is really nice. But there's a lovely, 
beautiful dried finish. That's a really long lasting. That's that's great. And about to water. I'd like a bit more of this, so I'm going back in for another go. <sighs> Torpedo Ale, I'll just read the beat the label on for you. Torpedo Ale is a big American IPA, but uh, perfectly balanced yet full of flavour. And the aromas have highlighted the complex citrus, pine, and herbal character of a whole, um, a whole cone American hops. This is really tasty. Get you thinking. It's actually quite nice. It's very nice, actually. It's very good. <sighs> so, so you had Father Torpedo Extra IPA. Is it one of the better IPAs I've had? It's there or there about. It's up with it all. Um, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. I really would. 7.2. It's really, that was very well hidden um, on it. You feel a little bit now after a couple of mouthfuls, but you can't taste it in the drink. Um, and a little small, so it's about 355 ml bottle, so it's really small, it's really powerful. Mm. That's tasty. That is tasty. Right. I don't see more I can say about this really. I look forward to it. I looked forward to it tasting. I wasn't disappointed. Um, recycling. Um, yeah, so there you go. If you've had this beer, Please lash us something in the comments if you disagree with what I'm saying, or if you just like me, give me a bit of a thumbs up. If you don't like, give me a bit of a thumbs down. Um, if you're watching for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. Um, there's 114, 115 videos behind this one. I'm sure I've done something to people, everyone's tastes. Um, if you are new and you have subscribed, thank you very much. Um, and I also thank all my continued uh, subscribers for their continued support and help me on this road to uh, alcoholism. Um, it's going well. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hail everybody. Hail yeah.